The construction of the jogging track that posed a threat to the banks of the Parakrama Samudra Vava appears to have been halted for today. Following a revelation by News First on the imminent threat posed to the banks of the Parakrama Samudra, which is a testament to our ancient irrigation technology, the Mahasangha and many other organizations rallied together to protect the Parakrama Mahasamudra. Representatives of the United Farmers Organization of the Parakrama Samudraya visited the site today. If this is not restored to its original state, when the rainy season hits, this entire bank will wash away. This is a crime. Look at where all of the soil is going. We would like to ask all the people that are involved in this, including the government agent, to restore this to its original state. These stones cannot be used again. Stones must be brought from outside by the irrigation department and this must be restored. Until this matter was revealed by the media, none of the farmers' organizations were informed. We must especially thank the Mahasangha of Polonarua. They intervened in this matter and put a halt to it. And for that, on behalf of all the farmers and the United Farmers Organization of the Parakrama Samudra, I would like to extend my gratitude to them. <laughs> This is going to be constructed for people who don't do a thing. Can't these people do some real work? They attempted to destroy this weather that is used by the farmers who work day and night and provide them with the food that they eat. We stand firm on our stance. Do not lay a hand on the Parakrama Samudra. Some of them are questioning as to why we don't make this. They say it will be more beautiful and that the town needs to be made properly. Our history is written on these stones in the weather. Remember that. To all the people who are trying to lay a hand on the Parakrama Samudra, I would like to tell you that there is no other vava like Parakrama Samudra in the world. It is only seen in Sri Lanka. If anyone tries to lay a hand on the Parakrama Samudra, the farmers will stand firm with the Mahasangha. Remember that well. <laughs> Although they say they received funds from various places, we believe that those funds were not given to do this. We do not see this as a timely project. We as the Mahasangha have planned to conduct some awareness programs on this matter and we hope that this will be resolved. No matter what the engineers say, about 10 to 12 years ago, I remember the bank of that weather had a crack at that location. It was the same engineers of the irrigation department who worked to stop the leak. I believe that destroying the bank at that very same location to give way to a jogging track is not something that should be done. The political leaders who proposed this must come forward and say this is the reason why we propose to go ahead with this project. The politicians must inform the people openly instead of passing on the blame on the engineers of the irrigation department, the officials at the department of archaeology or the government agents and hiding behind them. This is an attempt to build a jogging track along the Mahaparakrama Samudra in Polonnaruwa for a few privileged people. On the one hand, the Parakrama Samudra is under the purview of the Department of Archaeology. So, if someone is trying to excavate, rebuild or renovate this site, the Department of Archaeology must be involved in whatever is done. We did not see any involvement from the Department of Archaeology here yesterday. Treasure is rumoured to be hidden in the banks of the weather. We do not know if they thought that some treasure might be buried here. Some of 34 million has been allocated for this project. This 34 million rupees is being allocated for this project at a time when the people of our country are suffering without food and medicine. The 5,000 rupee allowance that the government gave us was reduced to 2,000 rupees. The 10,000 rupee concessionary hamper that the government gave has been reduced. What was done to the Parakrama Samudra will be done to the Kala Weva tomorrow. The same will be done to the Minneria Weva. These must be stopped. It could be the Parakrama Samudra, Tissa Weva or the Kala Weva. This is our heritage. These people destroyed the king's court of King Bonekabahu. 
A Chinese company was allowed to use the machinery at this server. Now the newest victim of these actions is the historic Parakrama Samudra.